Out of the many, many things that we worry about in this hobby is image quality. And, and the reason why is because this hobby is called first person view. So we want the best image quality to be blasted on our retinas through the goggles to be able to be immersive in those acrobatic, acrobatic moves that we do, right? But the battle is trying to find the best gear, the, the best gear, for example, like a, a VTX, video transmitter, for analog is such a big deal because you have the choices of TBS, uh, Team Black Sheep, or you have the choice of using Rush APV, using Eachine, and and none, none, none of them are actually as great as yes, Speedy B. Oh look what we have here speedy b a subsidiary or another brand coming from Runcam, and they've been producing frames they've been producing uh flight controllers uh, escs and now a vtx and this is actually quite amazing for this price point this vtx i think is excellent and for 800 milliwatts even better if you can find a better quality at least from the bill com uh, compared to the this pdb i dare you you can leave it in the comments but look look here all right this is nicely glistening heat sink nice looking heat sink right there it comes off so you have the option of actually having it on having it off but i don't see why anybody would leave the heat sink off especially how good looking it is it also protects you from the elements I don't know uh, it's not going to be waterproof but at least it protects you from the grass or any debris okay so let's open that up to see what's inside okay so you have the option of a JST connection or pad connection and the connections are standard you have 5 volts ground video uh, that's the IRC trap so it used IRC protocol P ground and 3.7 to 5 volts so that's the uh, ground out and 5 volts out for the camera okay so what else comes in the box let's see so you have an MMCX to SMA SMA right or you have a linear antenna to MMCX and you have the JST connector and wires that you can solder onto the VTX. And this is great because if you think about it, some VTXs only come with a linear antenna and then they charge you a bomb for it. But for this VTX, it's only what, uh, $20? $20, 20 US dollars? Then what, no, at least the version I bought. And it also comes in with the SMA MMCX connector. Bang for the buck have the Merchant RC RF meter connected and then to the TX800 through the uh, SMA to MMCX I've already unlocked the TX800 by pressing the black button for 10 seconds which now allows me all the RF bands goodness and also the 100 milliwatt access so let's see when I turn it on uh, after I've already set in beta flight these 100 milliwatts with the right VTX table with IRC tramp let's see where the, what would be the output power 9.99 one watt Damn! A thousand milliwatts okay 950 970 980 980 milliwatts lo and behold that is great okay so maybe uh it's uh, it doesn't mean it's calibrated uh 100 but i'm assuming this is close enough if you have on the emissions rc rf meter showing is going to 900 plus milliwatts on the bench, I can assure you, it's probably likely it will be 800 milliwatts as prescribed. All right, another penetration test with the fight of the bumblebee on piano as a soundtrack. So we're going through with a Runcam Racer 5, 
camera and we're trying to go behind this building and see whether all this concrete can be overcome by the TX100 at 800 milliwatts okay so right now a lot of breakup but I'm getting through and no problems going through the obstacles the TX800 800 milliwatts is holding its own I'm gonna show you a bit on how my previous test I did with the rush tank 2 ultimate and see whether the TX100 can go against the rush FPV so now you're seeing the slow-mo version of the TX800 speedb on the left rush tank 2 ultimate on the right I'm gonna have to say the breakup is about the same both are at 800 milliwatts so really would you spend more on the rush tank 2 ultimate or would you just spend on the TX800 speedb I would go with the speedy B.